Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Question number, problem number 46, uh, chapter 23, Gauss law. Uh, let me read out the problem. Assume that a ball of charged particles has a uniformly distributed negative charge density except for a narrow radial tunnel through its center. So, it is a very na narrow radial tunnel. So, we are uh, going to neglect it uh, when we consider the field. Uh, from the surface on one side to the surface on the opposite side, that is to say it is a diametrical tunnel. Also assume that we can position a proton anywhere along the tunnel or outside the ball. Let Fr be the magnitude of the electrostatic force on, on the proton when it is located at the ball's surface at radius capital R. As a multiple of capital R, how far from the surface is there a point where the force magnitude is 0.5 Fr if we move the proton part A away from the ball and part B into the uh, into the tunnel. Okay, so uh, we are given a sphere basically, a negatively charged sphere, uniformly charged sphere with a very narrow tunnel, with a very narrow tunnel. Uh, we are also given a proton. That proton is to be placed at maybe different points on uh, different points here. You can place it here. You can place it here. You can place it here. Whatever. Now, obviously, this proton will experience force because of that uh, spherical uh, uh, charged body. We are given that. We are given that if proton is at the at the surface. Then force on the proton, I will write Fs force when proton is lying on the surface. It is given that it is equal to F subscript R. So this is given to us. Now we have to find uh, distance of the proton from the surface such that proton experiences half the force. Okay. So we have which force on the proton is half the force that it experienced on the surface half the force that it experienced on the surface. That distance is what we had find out. Remember distance is to be found from the surface. Okay, there is something we already uh, we already have worked in problem number 44. Okay, problem number 44. I will give the link in the description. Uh, you go through that if you are not already aware of the results. We have already dealt with a, uh, with a uniformly charged sphere. We know the field inside the uniformly charged sphere. We know field outside it. We know field on the surface of it. The only difference is that we have a negatively charged sphere here. So the only difference is going to be there uh, the field direction was radially outward here uh, field direction is going to be radially inward that is all. Let me write down those results field outside was simply gamma q divided by r square. Let me write modulus of q because we are dealing uh, with a negative charge here. So it just behaves like a point charge for points lying outside this sphere. Field on the surface, field on the surface is again gamma q divided by capital R square, where capital R is radius of the sphere, and field inside, field inside is equal to gamma q divided by capital R cube into little r. Field is directly proportional to r. Okay, field is directly proportional to r. Now uh, we have this sphere which is negatively charged. If a proton is placed somewhere here, proton is placed here, at a distance little r from the center, okay, at a distance little r from the center, then force, force experienced by the proton is half the force that it would experience on the surface, when it is placed on the surface, okay. So, uh, this is part A. When part proton is placed there, when proton is placed there, force on it will be charge of the proton into field. Now, this point is lying outside it at a distance r. So, I will write E at r. E at r. So, if a proton is placed here, then force experienced by that proton will be charge of the proton into field at that point is equal to half force that the proton would experience when it is placed on the surface, which is represented by Fr in the question. I will again write that this way, that will be equal to charge of the proton into field on the 
surface of the proton that is to say at a distance of capital R with this capital R radius. So uh, this is given, this is given. So I'll rewrite it, this uh, Q and Q will cancel out. So ER is simply gamma modulus Q divided by R square is equal to half gamma modulus Q divided by capital R square. Okay. Divide by capital R square. So a uh, few things cancel out, gamma and gamma cancel out, Q and Q cancel out. So R square <coughs> taking the reciprocal is twice capital R square. This means R is equal under root 2 capital R. Okay, under root 2 capital R. But remember, this is distance from the center of the sphere. We are asked to find out distance from the surface of the sphere. So this is what we are asked to find out. Okay, this is what we'll ask you to find out. I'll just call it H. It's kind of height from the surface. I'll call it H. Little r is from the center to the proton and capital R is from the center to the surface. So capital R plus H is equal little r. So H is equal to uh, little r minus this capital R. So H is equal to little r minus capital R. Little r, we found root 2 times capital R. Root 2 capital R, I'll take common. So minus 1 times capital R. Uh, root 2 is 1.41 minus 1 is 0 0.41 so h is equal to 0 0.41 times capital R. This is what we are asked to find out as a multiple of capital R. <coughs> as a multiple of capital R what is the distance from the surface so it is 0 0.41 times capital R. If we are asked to find a distance from the center then it would be root 2 times R but if it is uh, we are asked to find a distance from the surface so that is 0 0.41 times capital R. Then the next part is the same thing, but we have to place the proton inside this. So let me place the proton somewhere here. This is the proton at a distance of little r. Remember this distance is capital R. Now proton is placed inside the shell, okay, inside this uh, sphere, uniformly charged. Again, the condition is force experienced by the proton at this position, when proton is placed here, here, is half the force that it would have experienced on the surface. Again, the same condition, but this time the only difference is proton is lying inside this shell, along that tunnel, somewhere along that tunnel inside the shell. That tunnel purpose of that tunnel is this. So we can place a proton somewhere here inside the tunnel. So uh, force when proton is placed here is charge of the proton times field at that point at a distance r from the center which is lying inside it is equal to again half this will write the same way charge of the proton into four field on the surface of the sphere. Okay. So this implies Q and Q cancels out. Now this field, this point is lying inside the shell, inside the sphere. So that is gamma Q divided by capital R cube into little r. Gamma modulus Q divided by capital R cube into little r is equal to half of field on the surface is gamma Q divided by capital R square. So again, a few things will cancel out here. Gamma Q, gamma Q cancels out R square and we are left with one r here. So little r is equal to capital R goes upstairs r divided by 2. This is distance of the point from the center of the sphere. But we are asked to find our distance from the surface of the sphere. So what we are asked to find is this distance. I will call that d, d kind of depth from the surface. Now clearly this d is capital R minus this little r. Well, if this is half of R, this is also half of R. So D is equal to half of R, which is to say 0 0.5 times R. 0 0.5 times. So for points lying outside it, it is uh, 0 0.41 times capital R. But for points lying inside it, it is 0 0.5 times capital R. So that is what we are asked to find out. That will do for this session.